Lords of War is a five episode adventure, which is going to prepare players for the next expansion, which is Warlords of Draenor. What we're trying to do with Lords of War is both educate players to who these warlords are, they're characters that uh, were created close to 20 years ago now, crazy, and ultimately kind of answer the question, why should you, the player, feel like you want to engage these guys and bring them to justice, um, and really take people on a ride. The genesis for Lords of War was uh, I work on a team where it's basically a very uh, story-focused team. We did story development for short stories, comic books, novels, but we really didn't touch on a lot of the cinematics. So our first foray into kind of cinematic storytelling was a project called The Burdens of Shao Hao. Shao Hao was really the first time we ever went beyond what our comfort was in the past. You know, we went into a visual thing that was moving now. It wasn't just a comic, it wasn't just a short story that you throw up on the web. Kind of a short form, but you know, serial story told in parts. But it was meant to be this kind of picture book, you know, that you would sit and watch. And so we developed Shao Hao, we put it out, and uh, you know, the fans of Pandaria seemed to really like it. Um, and it really opened a door for us as storytellers because it really got into a lot of hands. It got a lot of eyeballs on that thing. And and so Shao Hao really told us that, you know, there's there's potentially a, a, a much wider audience. It's receptive to Warcraft storytelling, but it's it's not necessarily in a book. Right? It's not necessarily between two covers. Using kind of Shao Hao as that platform, you know, we, we sat down to kind of conceptualize this product, you know, to educate people as to who the warlords are, but also really just take them on this amazing journey um, that we also hoped would showcase Draenor itself. We had a few meetings saying, what do we want to do next time? How do we want to go forward with a sort of style of storytelling? And so the guys got together and they actually came up with two stories. It was going to be uh, Yerl was going to be one of them and Duritan was going to be the other one. And they were just going to be a few minutes each and, and that was going to be it. The more we talked about it, the more we realized that this was really a great opportunity uh, to not only tell great stories, but to also introduce some of these bosses that you're gonna fight in Warlords of Draenor. They needed it to focus on the Warlords because not a whole lot of that was gonna be explored in the game. So we needed some way to introduce these guys to the public so that you understood why you should feel threatened by them, why you should care about them. Who are the Warlords? Where do they come from? How did they become these imposing, terrifying uh, badasses that we're gonna wanna fight? And I think each one of these stories that we've built is the crucible moment in each of their lives, the kind of defining story that turned them into the monstrosities we'll, we'll never really face. King Varian, the hour grows late. You must sign the declaration of war. I was just a child when my father rushed to confront this same evil. At the outset of this, it needed to be more than just stories of four warlords. There needed to be a context to all this. So, you know, we had the idea of having a narrator as part of this and who was gonna tell the story. Marad was a perfect choice for it because he had actually, you know, Draenor was his home. Marad lived through the fall of his world. You know, he saw his people um, hunted to the verge of extinction by these warlords, specifically a generation before. Um, and he carries a lot of ghosts. So the fact that he's coming here and he's coming to Varian to tell these stories, uh, winds up having a bit of an arc in and of itself, which makes the whole thing to me worthwhile. It makes it all sit together and fit together so they're not these four desperate stories. Then tell me of them, Marad. Tell me everything. Very well. Kargath had no clan. Crispin Freeman who is our Maraud is, is a phenomenal guy and just brings so much to the role, so much character and is, is such a treat to work with and, and is so patient with all of us as we put him through the ringer. Maraud is a vindicator, which is always sort of an interesting title when you hear that. Uh, it basically means that he's a kind of paladin. It means he's serving a larger purpose than uh, simply his own wants or needs. He's, a, he's a, a, a sort of holy soldier in a way. As far as Murad in the story, obviously he's serving the purpose of explaining to the king exactly what they're up against in terms of these orc warlords. 
But then you have to ask yourself, well, why is Murad doing this? Why is it Murad's job to explain to the king what's going on and, and what motivates Murad, right? He has a personal reason for telling these stories. And I think one of the most satisfying things is to be able to understand exactly why a character is doing what they're doing. And fortunately, we do get to reveal exactly what is pushing Murad to do what he does. So I'm super excited about Lords of War. In a way, it's part of the dream you know, we've always had for, for Blizzard and the worlds that we've been building, is that there would be these stories that you can just kind of watch and, and it's just out there and living on the web and it's, it's moving pictures, it's sound, it's not just contained within book covers. Um, it's, it's, it's a little more alive, it's, it's, it's visually dynamic. All of us here at the end of the day, we just, you know, we want to tell good stories and we want to really reach out and touch the masses. And hopefully this whole synergistic experience we built the whole will do that. It's extremely gratifying to know that these are going to come out and, and be shown to everybody. I am certainly hopeful that we're going to do more of these types of stories in the future. This is not the end, you know, as, as you know, people continue to come and kind of inhabit the worlds we're building. Products and, and series like Lords of War will kind of continue to be part of that landscape and part of the tradition of our storytelling. <laughs>